It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Montgomery Biscuits. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Shane Boz, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Now with the play, Chris the McMullen. Field. He'll get us Rick. started in this one Rick under McMullen. the lights. To the left side scooped up throws in time and that's out number one stepping up now Devin Hairston he did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one bases are empty one man out hit to first right to him and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Now at the plate, Jace Peterson is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Tristan Lutz. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. One out, one out. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Last half of the second set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Vaughn Harris. Now the pitch. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Vaughn Harris. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. High and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. To the track, to the wall. And that one is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number nine on the year as they take the lead four to three. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. Into the box, Vaughn Harris. The first baseman, number one, Vaughn Harris. Hey, you pitch, you pitch right here. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and go! So a solo shot down the line in left, his second of the game, and it's now six to three. Hey, 
as soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul ball. Striding in, Patrick hey, Leonard. Now, one now down. Down. The third baseman, Patrick Leonard. This is on the ground to first, could be two. The second for one, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, two errors in the inning, and one man left on base. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the home half, and Montgomery's out in front here, six to three. Striding forward now is the D.H., Tristan Lutz. No hits to this point. And now pitch on the way. To short. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. Digging in, Alexander Alvarez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Alexander Alvarez. All right side, reined in. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Biscuits lead it 7-3. to three. So digging in now, Vaughn Harris comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat his second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Here's the first pitch to him. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Striding into the box, Patrick Leonard. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Swung on and grounded out towards second. He's got it. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. 7-5 tonight's final. The Montgomery Biscuits secure their 10th victory of the season. For the Chihuahuas, three runs on ten hits, no errors. They left four men on base. The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the and limelight now, today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Montgomery Biscuits. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Brent Honeywell, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? You know, Matt, it's awfully tough getting a lot of no decisions as a starting pitcher, but he was able to pick up his first win of the year in his last start. Hopefully, his mojo starts turning around. Standing in, Chris McMullen, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw just in time as he was flying down the line that time. So stepping in, number 20. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. The one-two. Bit of eyes here as he's going to try to lay one down. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Digging in now, Vaughn Harris. He'll get to take his first, first cuts here. Vaughn Harris. Vaughn. 
Now the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. At the plate, Carlos Leal. Now batting. Catcher. Has a look. Carlos. Now the pitch. Oh. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. And the visitors are out in front here, one to nothing. So striding forward Lead now, Vaughn Harris. He flew out racer. in his last at bat. Harris. Here we go, baby. Find a First good offering pitch. on its way. Pulls Aye. the bunt attempt back, but it's in there for strike one. Put your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. in the air down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning man I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and new inning set to get underway and that'll bring up the outfielder Theo Madsen sent on the ground out to second Fielded cleanly, yeah. and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, now Chris batting. McMullen. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim. Uh, on the ground to third. On to first, and there were two down. Now at the plate, Jace Peterson. Now batting, second baseman. Grounder to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris now McMullen, back. as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. This is somewhat of a concern. This guy needs to hit better left handed. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So one run here on two base hits. Nope. Stepping into the box, now Vaughn back. Harris. He looked to bounce back Ball. after striking out his last Harris. time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Out in front of it, strike one. And he turns this one around Harris. high and deep Harris. to center field. Center fielder going back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 11 for him on the season as we are all knotted up at two. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Digging in, Patrick Leonard. He's one for two in the ball game. The third baseman, Patrick Leonard. Towards second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Digging in and looking for more, Vaughn Harris. Two away now here back. in the eighth, and time's base running base. out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High and deep to right. Right fielder looking up. That one is out of here. 
This game is tied. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. And we are tied again. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still getting it. Now at the plate, Eric Filia. He's two for three and looking for more here. Filia. 3 2 pitch. Swinging a soft liner. There's one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. as there are quickly two away now. Oh, man, that's just a backbreaker right there. You get the leadoff man to start the ninth, and you're looking pretty good, right? Not when the next guy bounces into a double play. We'll see if they can get the final out and wrap this thing up. Coming to the plate now, Patrick right Leonard. Here. And he now needs to make something Murphy. happen. They're down to their final Patrick. out here in the ninth. Leonard. Has them down to their final strike. Comes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw oh. on to first, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth, and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. 7-5 tonight's final. Montgomery get the win on the heels of four home runs. Brooks Pounders claims the win out of the pen his first. Peter Fairbanks hammers down the save his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleasak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. No error. They left.